So this week I received another PDF document that contains a, a malicious Word document with macros. So let's take a look at uh, the analysis with PDF ID. Looking at the sample, you see that it contains JavaScript, an open action and also uh, an embedded file. So with PDF parser, I'm going to search for that open action. Okay, so here uh, you have the open action. And the action is a JavaScript, which is found in object 5. So I'm selecting object 5. It's a stream object. So let's apply a filter. And here uh, we see the content. Let's you in using raw mode, the output like this. Okay, so here we have a function definition. And then we have this export data object with a name of a file and an uh, action uh, launch code is two. So this will write this embedded docm file to a temporary file and then launch it uh, with the corresponding application. So let's search for the embedded file. So it's here in object 3. This. With uppercase H, I uh, can see what's inside the stream. So see, this is the length and the MD5 hash of the unfiltered stream and uh, also the header. And this is the length and the MD5 and uh, the header of the filtered stream. You can see that this starts with PK. So indeed, uh, it's probably a docm file mm, and a new office uh, file format. So the zip file with XML files inside it and also containing uh, a macros. So we know that macros in the new uh, file format for Office are also contained in OLA files stored in uh, the zip container. So let's dump this. So we apply the filter. We dump this to standard out. And then I pipe this through OLE dump. And indeed, it contains macros, several modules. Let's uh, select and extract all the macro streams like this. Okay. And now let's pipe this through our research and search for strings, extract the strings. Oh, here we have the strings. Okay. And here we can see uh, urls.biz.net.co.uk. So let me grab for biz. like this. And uh, you can see that the separator between the URLs is uh, uppercase letter V. So let's do a set. So we are going to replace V with a space character. Like this. And this gives our uh, the three URLs.